Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In, in the previous video, I have discussed what is generative sequence classification method is. And in this video, I am discussing about the discriminative local classification method. So, before knowing what is this method is, first you have to know about what are the local features. Local features are nothing but the word entities, prefixes, suffixes or the nearby POS. POS is nothing but parts of speech. Okay. So, in generative sequence classification method, we have uh, we have seen that they will be predicting the labels. I mean, they will be predicting the sentence boundary or the topic boundary by whatever the sequences we have fed to the system. Based on the training examples only, it will be generating the uh, labels for that particular thing. Okay. But when it comes to discriminative local classification method, it will only uh, consider the local features of a particular sequences and then it will predict the labels to that particular sequence. So here you can see these approaches focuses on making decisions based on the local information. What is this local information? Local information is nothing but local features. So based on the local features only, they will be predicting the labels of a particular sentence typically without considering the entire sequence uh, uh, in previous method we have seen that it will be considering all the sequences and then it will be either predicting the label or it will be generating the new sequence but here based on the local features only based on the information of the local features only it will be generating or it will be predicting the labels of a particular sequence okay these methods directly model the relationship between input features and the output labels. So here we can clearly see that they are establishing the relation between these input features and the output labels. So whatever the sequences we are giving to the system, it will take only the uh, features as the input. So it will be giving what, what the last output you will be getting, you are getting the labels. I, I mean the labels are nothing but the sentence boundary or topic boundary we are getting. By feeding the features, we will be getting the labels of that particular sentence. So the most common example of this method is maximum entropy Marco model or uh, it might be support vector machines. Support vector machines also comes under the discriminative local classification method. Okay. So now let's see the applications of this uh, generative sequence classification method and discriminative sequence classification method. So these three are the applications of generative local classification method and discriminative local classification method. The first one is parts of speech tagging. What is this parts of speech tagging? So whenever you give some sentence to the system and ask that system to predict the parts of speech of that particular sequence. So it will be giving you the parts of speech of that particular sequence okay then second one is speech recognition so one of the most common example is youtube only so whenever you ask uh, subtitles for that particular video it will be uh, generating automatically right so that is nothing but the speech recognition and then you will be having named entity recognition named entity recognition means so the entity which is having some names names means either it can be person's names or the locations or anything it may be anything so it will be recognizing the named entities that's it this is about the methods in order to find the structure of the documents and in the next video we will be discussing about the complexity and the performance of these approaches until then thank you so if you really like my video please do subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries please do comment i will be responding as soon as possible and thank you